Okay, let's have a look at these. These are the uh, 24 gram Daryl Fitton darts from the uh, G-Force range. Right, I'll just open up the package and take a look at what you get for your money. You get uh, one of these plastic cases. Uh, now this is the type of case that you can close it up, open up the back end and there's um, space in there for some spare shafts and some spare flights and a few other bits and bobs. Um, the darts themselves, you get um, your actual Daryl Fit and Dart set and you get a set of uh, Dazzler flights, the Dazzler flights with his cartoon character on, uh, like that. Okay, so let's have a look at the darts themselves. <coughs> right. Yeah, so quite a nice looking dart, but feel wise, I would have to rate that as. Um, it's certainly level 3, possibly level 4. That's quite a lot of grip on there. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm erring towards a level 4 grip. Um, there is um, plenty of grooves all the way along it. <clears throat> so, from front to back then. We've got um, our standard stainless steel point. And then we've got a nice curved taper from the tip of the barrel all the way up to the main part of the barrel which is uh, feels completely straight lots and lots of these grooves the nice nice quite deeply cut grooves um, equally distant all the way apart all the way along but from the back there where we've got uh, a laser etched copy of Daryl's little cartoon figure then another couple of uh, fairly deeply cut grooves and a slight taper back to make the shaft um, no lip there whatsoever where the, where the actual barrel of the dart meets the shaft um, yeah feeling it again that's I'm gonna give that a level 4 grip that is a that is a that's that's got a lot of grip on there it feels actually very nice um, a quick visual check against the uh, purists as ever and lengthwise I would put them if anything, they're actually a, a tiny fraction longer than uh, than a purist, I'd say. Thickness-wise, very similar. Uh, let's just check that grip again. Yep, that's that's a that's a similar level of mechanical grip there. Okay, let's have a measure. Let's remove the uh, the stem <coughs> and switch on the old. Okay. Uh, Width-wise, at the main part of the barrel, it is, as you can see, 6.4 millimeters. Let's just take that to the back there. Yep, 6.4. Does it go down a little bit? Down to about 5.9 or so at the back there. <coughs> Lengthwise, from the back of the point, the end of the barrel. I get 53.8 millimeters, <clears throat> so that gives you an idea of the uh, the width and the length of the thing. So, a quick uh, resume of the dart themselves. What do you get for your money? You get three darts, your plastic case that folds up, uh, space in the back for spares, etc., etc. Three darts, three dazzle flights. There you go. Let's see how they fly. Okay, let's give Daryl's darts a, a try. Well, they fly nicely, uh, nice and straight and even. Uh, the balance of the dart is uh, seems very good on uh, first impression. Yeah. Very nice. Um, lots of grip. These are a 90% tungsten dart. Uh, 
Um, definitely level four. Definitely level four, Brit. Yeah. And um, and for me at least, they're very comfortable. Um, certainly can't moan about the quality of the delts. They uh, they're very nice. Yeah. As you can see, we've got that that nice straight barrel design with that uh, gentle taper towards the point. We've got the, the little uh, smooth bit there with uh, Daryl's cartoon figure on. Um, 24 gram, 90% tungsten, nicely balanced, easy to hold, um, comfortable to throw. Yeah, these are a nice dart. Yeah, I'm quite liking these, they're very nice. So, if you're into your uh, 24 gram darts and you like plenty of grip, these are certainly a contender. So there you go. There's your, your G-Force, Daryl Fitton, 90% tungsten uh, darts. Good darts, nice little.